Oh, uh, remarkable. Uh, just, you know, there were periods in the match where I actually said to myself, uh, especially after playing such a long point or arduous point, I was like, she's 40 years of age. You know, this is what people forget. Not only is she so great and she's trying to achieve something pretty spectacular here at the US Open, but the fact that she's 40 and she's running down balls, she's like as athletic as we've seen her in a long time. I was just so proud of her, the way she handled the entire situation last night. And boy, oh boy, she looked really fantastic yesterday. You know, honestly, Brenna, it's not very, very hard to, uh, you know, coach the greatest player of all time. But um, I have the pleasure of being able to be on the court with her. Look, the bottom line is it's just being about positivity. Um, you know, just reinforcing the positives, reinforcing the positives. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel here, as I said, as the greatest player of all time. She knows how to win more than anybody else. But it's just making her be in the right, um, you know, uh, mindset. And uh, I, that, that's really been my goal over the last few weeks. Well, I mean, I think the bottom line is she's not surprised that she's played great, great her whole career. Bottom line is, look, in Cincinnati, you talk about the lead-up tournaments and what we saw at Wimbledon. She hadn't played a match in a year. I don't think you understand how hard it is, even for someone as great as Serena Williams. Any player finds it hard to win and have confidence when they haven't played a match in a long, a long time. So I think what you're getting right now is somebody somebody's had finally a couple of matches under their belt, and she she remembers really easily what it's like to win a lot of matches. And I think she's just tapped, tapped into the old Serena right now, and we said, obviously, last night. Well, I think animosity, but more so, Brianna, it's more about the, uh, the pressure on her shoulders. She's had, literally, as she said last night, she's had an X on her back since she won the tournament here back a long, long time ago. And since that, since that moment, everyone everyone expects her to win every single match, including herself. So, you know, the pressure on her every day, you know, to quantify her greatness, I think the thing to, to, to talk about is really how much she's dealt with the pressure over two decades and how she's come through. And I think this is finally a time where she can play a tournament where she's not the favourite. So it feels really good for her to walk on the court, not as much pressure on her shoulders. And as I said, she showed it last night. It's fantastic. Well, you know, the match, sometimes just having a laugh about something else random. But, um, you know, to have Venus there, she said to me at one point, I'm the most chill person in this player box, which is true. And it's indicative of Venus and how, how great she is. And she gets an opportunity to go back on Arthur Ashe tonight with Serena at 7 p.m. prime time on ESPN. She will be there with her sister. So it's going to be great to see them playing doubles again. Oh, I mean, listen, it, you know, Serena's, I think, just such a great ambassador for the sport. There's so many players that are pulling for her out there on the court. She just is just above and beyond sometimes the sport. 
Um, but the sport, no one's bigger than the sport, but Serena certainly um, gets really close to that. And she just has overwhelmed the crowd here, the experience that I've had being here um, and just being around her through this this, this tournament has been magical. Um, so hopefully the celebration will keep continuing here at the US Open.